Our mission here in Washington, D.C. has been securing whatever building, whatever sector we've been assigned to, um, just making sure that nobody gets in in places where they're not supposed to be, making sure that there's been no chaos, no ruckus. And thankfully, we've had a uh, very positive experience here. Uh, everyone's been very kind, any civilian that's come to talk to us, anyone who's passed by the gates that we've been guarding. Uh, and it's been, it's been a great experience, especially all the missions that we've gone on. Being a part of an inauguration or a security detail for an inauguration of this magnitude, especially since I believe the 2020 election was just super monumental for the country, um, it's been an honor. It's also been kind of surreal to think that in 10, 15, 20 years, uh, I'll be able to go back and you know tell kids, grandkids, hopefully not grandkids in 20 years, but <laughs> kids in 20 years that I work the, you know, I work security for the 2020 uh, presidential inauguration. It's, a, it's been a huge honor to be here. Being here and being able to represent the Oregon National Guard and Oregon, uh, the state as a whole, has been a huge honor. Uh, I've been super happy to do it, especially here with the 1186 MP company, um, the soldiers that we brought, it's been a great experience. Everyone has been, you know, working together pretty tight knit. The leadership has been fantastic. Um, yeah, the, the entire experience, I would 100% I would and do it again. Meeting General Hokinson was super surreal. Uh, definitely unexpected just to see somebody of that high, you know, that high up in not only the military, but also just within, you know, the government system of the United States. Um, having him, you know, take his time to come talk to, you know, his old unit, uh, possibly see some familiar faces. Um, it was fantastic, and you could you could tell that he was um, he was trying to kind of break the tension between, you know, a general talking to NCO, senior NCOs, and uh, you know, junior enlisted. You could tell he's like, you can kind of relax. Um, you can talk to me as if I'm you know, tell me about your experiences. Uh, you could tell he cared about hearing about our experience here in Washington, D.C., as well as what our experience has been like, you know, back in Salem, back with our, you know, our home units. So, yeah, it was absolutely amazing to meet him, and I certainly hope to cross paths with him again. I work for a private security agency, so it's definitely not like being here. <laughs> I do plan to become a part of a law enforcement agency in the future, whether it be here in, or, or not here in Oregon, but whether it be in Oregon or I would really love to go work for uh, a Colorado police department. Um, but it's definitely, definitely been a dream of mine for several years to be a part of law enforcement. I was using being an MP as a, you know, it was originally just a stepping stone uh, when I first enlisted and when I was going through training, that was kind of like my big motivation. Uh, but the more involved I got with the unit, the more I got to know my unit, uh, my leadership, the people in my platoon, people in other platoons, uh, the more I realized that I joined for a lot more reasons just to get a job in my, you know, civilian side. Um, you know, reasons like being here, working the Washington DC inauguration, uh, being able to support law enforcement back in Oregon or to do whatever they ask of me. It's, it's all very much a privilege. What I was feeling when I first got asked if I wanted to work the inauguration was, I can tell you right now, I definitely screamed. Uh, I was super excited as soon as I, you know, as soon as I asked. I don't think I'd ever typed yes into my phone so fast. Uh, there was some anxiety coming here after what happened on January 6th, but the closer and closer the mission got, uh, just the more excited I got, regardless of what happened, I was going to be with my unit. I was going to be, you know, with the people who I knew I would have, who would have my back and whose back I would have. Um, God forbid anything happened. And then I also knew I was going to be in Washington, D.C., which was an honor all its own. This is a very neat city. Uh, we've met a lot of great people uh, in the government, in, you know, the National Guard. Um, yeah, I was, I was definitely happy to be coming out here.